$266,944.56. This is a down payment on a very nice house or a very small place in New York City. Hi, I'm Asa Minhaj, and I'm about to go shopping online. Let's do this. Do I do a lot of online shopping? I do, yes. Let's get some shoes. Air Jordan 11 Concord, $459. Okay, this is gonna test my knowledge of Air Jordan 11 Concords. You guys did not list the year here. I believe based on the higher patent leather, this is the 2018 edition. You are right, sir, good job. There we go. What I, size are you, by the way? I'm size 10 and a half. 10 and a half, okay, the price is actually 635. It went up to $635? I'm gonna be honest with you, um, these are beautiful. These are beautiful. Um, and in this icy soul is a reminder that time is finite. Our time on this earth is finite. Um, and let the yellowing of these souls remind all people that we have a limited time on this planet. Let's live life with our loved ones and let's wear our Jordans. But never, ever crease your 11s. Nike Benassi JDI slide into the comfort and the lightweight and sporty Nike Benassi JDI slide. Wow, Nike slides are back. Oh, we're doing Nike slides again. I love a good slide. I love a pair of Jordan shorts with slides, like, oof. Socks or barefoot? Barefoot, barefoot. Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott, $2,059. <sighs> you know what's crazy? What? Story time. I was gifted these and I sold them on StockX. No shit, who gave them to you? Megan Rapino. <laughs> no shit. Megan, you gifted me these? And I straight up, I straight up sold them on StockX. And I put them in an ETF in my daughter's name. So thank you, Megan. Cole Haan Grandpa Rally Court Sneaker, $150. These aren't the Hassan Minhajas though. These aren't the Hassan Minhajas though. They do have that back little red lip. I appreciate that. But I gotta let you guys know the Hassan Minhaj Grand Pro Rally had that hairy suede. Cole Haan is like from New Hampshire, right? Uh, do you know that without Google? I had to look, I'm, I'm gonna look it up on Google. New Hampshire, baby. Your boy is straight up doing Americana. I love the collab that I did. These are actually pretty cool too. I could wear these, like these are pretty, pretty versatile. I could wear this with this outfit right now. I think just from an investment standpoint, let's grab the Travis Scotts and let's flip them again. <laughs> <laughs> let's hold them, let's hodl for like two years and let's flip them for three. I'm like my daughter, she's just like me. She might need some braces. Travi, get my baby girl some braces. Let's do this. Oh my God, let's talk about some records. $17, Nusut Fateh Ali Khan's performance at WMADU Festival in 1985 was the first time the legendary Kowali singer had performed in front of a mainly non-Asian audience. Damn, this is history, bro. To Kowali music is something that when you're growing up, your parents play it in the car when you're on the way to a davut, which is like a family party, when you're on the way to the mosque or Sunday school. When I was a kid, I was like, turn this off. As I've gotten older, yo, the pipes, the pipes on this guy, legendary, all time. I mean, I would I would put him up there as an icon, up there with Lata Mangeshkar. Let's keep going. Daft Punk Random Access Memories, $28.73. Okay. We just, we just have a Daft Punk album? Yeah. Is it, yeah. Is it signed by Daft Punk? It's not. So it's just a Daft Punk album. The album is great. Yeah, I could live without it. Get Lucky, great track. Nazia Hassan, Disco Diwani. Wow, this cover, iconic. Look at this, like, look at the vibes. See the way she's holding the mic and she's doing this? DMX, Flesh on My Flesh, Blood on My Blood. Ooh, 4095 classic album, RIP DMX. DMX was the third album that I ever bought. So this is up there. And I remember being in, I think eighth grade when this when this record came out, people were like, is it human's blood? Mm -hmm. And then I think we all found out that it was lamb or goat's blood, which didn't make it any less terrifying. Such a great album and I cannot believe, 
I cannot believe I listened to, listened to it in the car with my parents. So I think there's a line in it where he says, I got blood on my hand and there's no remorse. I got blood on my dick because I effed a corpse. Okay, that was playing in the car with both my parents and my little sister. This is tough, but if I am getting vinyl and I'm getting a record and it's the big case, I gotta go Nazia Hassan Disco Divani. Oh my God. Put that in the cart only for $16, steal. Oh, this is great. I mean, you guys really did it. GQ, you guys did it. Let's take a look at Cameo. If you don't know what Cameo is, Cameo is the service for $20, $15 or $10. You can get vanilla ice to wish you a happy birthday. It's crazy. We've commoditized people's dignity and like, the most base way, it's it's wild. Lamar Odom, $200, no. Y'all, this is, you guys are trying to make me sad now. Floyd Mayweather, $15,000? Floyd, Floyd! But isn't Floyd the one who's like, I, I, I'm, I'm worth a billion dollars? I mean, it, it literally is four seconds of work. Floyd, Martha Stewart impersonator, $30. Can I see how good she is? I mean, because $30 might be worth it for Martha Stewart in person. Mike Bibby, $200. No, Mike. Mike, no. I don't, even, I, I don't even need to see the Martha Stewart in person, impersonator. She was gonna be at the top of the list. I'm gonna do Mike Bibby for $200, but he has to take his shirt off and flex. Because Mike Bibby, bro, Mike Bibby got ripped. Mike Bibby looks like Mike Bibby swallowed another Mike Bibby. Let's add that to the cart. Let's get into fragrances. Aesop Marrakesh Intense Eau de Parfum. A raw, unorthodox fragrance distinguished by woody, spicy notes and fresh florals. A deep, rich, and alluring homage to the city of the same name. Now there's one thing about brown dudes who do wear um, cologne. We go hard in the paint. If we're going out, we're going to the club, we're trying to impress somebody at the mosque, at Sunday school. Oh, we're going hard. Suited too, this is really interesting. All genders, explorers, epicureans. Let's play a new show. This is called, Are You a Smart Person Without Using Google? In modern popular usage, an epicurean is a connoisseur of the arts of life and the refinements of sensual pleasures. Does that describe you? I think it describes GQ.com. Yeah, nice. Okay, Tom Ford, Oud Wood, $650. Rare, exotic, distinctive, nah. Hard pass. Let's keep doing this. Egyptian Musk Fragrance Oil, $18.99. Great price. I love how, like, the top of, of the container of this thing, it kind of looks like a mosque. That's really beautiful and lovely. I'm about to see a minaret on the top. It says, the OG sweet uncle slash mosque fragrance. You, I didn't even, I already told you this. It's reading my mind. Liz Claiborne Curve Crush for Men. This is $20.72. I was a connoisseur of Claiborne Sport. It was my favorite. In the eighth grade. Right now there's a tie in my mind between Egyptian Musk Uncle Fragrance Oil or the Aesop Marrakesh Intense Eau de Parfum. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with Aesop Marrakesh. We're gonna go with the classic, but upgrade it. Let's add it. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Oh yeah? Let's look at some snacks. Ooh, Haldi Ram's Gulab Jam at $26.99. Amazon description, cottage cheese dumplings with cardamom with flavored sugar syrup. Horrible, horrible, horrible description. Here's how you describe Gulab Jamans. It is a fried donut drizzled in syrup. Amazon, update it. Jalebi, orange, sweet, sticky, and crispy squirrels, one pound, $11.99. <sighs> Great. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I'm more of a Gulab Jamun guy over, um, over Jalebi. Crispy tea rusk. Nope, overrated, my dad loves these. I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I hate these because these are in the living room and it's not, like every Desi family has a living room that you don't live in and then you have a family room that you do live in. Anytime there was a serious conversation, I'd have to go to the living room and I would see these on just like a silver tray and I'm like, oh shit, dad's gonna say something not good. Haldi Ram's Kashmiri mixture, $9.05. Is that a good price? I'm gonna be honest, I actually, I actually don't like, I don't like these, my dad likes these. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan. We're going with Haldi Rams Gulab Jamun. We just need to update the description. Haldi Rams, holla at you boy. I moved on from Ikea. Let's get some furniture. 
I don't even, this is how you know you're really doing it big. You can't even pronounce the names. I mean, this is like something I'd order at a restaurant. So we got the Cacio Pepe white silicone curb chair, Senza Fin for Meritalia. Okay, I don't know what, <laughs> Gaetano Pesche. Sounds like a character in the, the Disney Plus film, Luca. $11,200 for something that looks like, um, you know how when you, when you take gum and you stretch it out? Yeah, I'm gonna pass. All right, LC4 Chaise Lounge by Le, oh, come on. Guys, what are we doing? Le Corbusier and Charlotte Perrion. You know, I know I was the guy who really harped on pronouncing everybody's name correctly, and I think this is revenge. $266,944.56. This is a down payment, hard pass. Rose Quartz Crystal Hand Carved Bathtub by Baldi Ferenz, 1867, made in Italy, $1,449,472.73 for something that looks like it holds soap. Is this like Napoleon's bathtub? Price 1,200,000 euros. The astonishing bath was carved out of a single block of rose quartz crystal found in the Amazonian rainforest. Oh, whoever did this was pure fucking evil. Oh, oh you just walked into the Amazon rainforest. <laughs> you found a big ass slab of rose quartz crystal and you said, hmm, let me take this back. This is approximately 10,000 kilograms. 10,000 quick. What, do you know what that is in pounds? I don't know, but I could Google it. That's about, wow, 22,046 pounds. If you've ever shipped anything on FedEx, <laughs> this is actually a steal. If this is 22,000 pounds and it only is 1.5 million, shipping alone, if I took this thing down to a FedEx Kinko's, they're at least running me a good 3.5 mil. So I think, I think right now I'm telling you this right now, I'm gonna buy this just, just for shipping prices alone. Um, Herman Miller, Aaron Share, uh, $1,190. All right, these are super popular in corporate America and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did buy one of these. And, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, right here, right now, exclusive, overrated. They're really not that good. I told you what I'm gonna get. This isn't about any of these from a furniture standpoint. I'm gonna get the Rose Quartz Crystal hand carved bathtub just because of the shipping steal alone. It's so funny, I read this slide. I go, homies, let's talk about our homies. Let's take a look at some places that you could live. House in Davis, California, $3 million? Three million? Davis came up like this? This isn't even that nice of a house. <laughs> Look at this house. It's kind of old. An opportunity like this rarely comes along. Location, location, location. You know you're talking about Davis, California. Hey, people in the comments, just tell me what's going on in Davis. Is the Frog Tunnel still there? Is Taqueria Guadalajara still there? And by the way, is, is Holmes Junior High still better than Emerson Junior High? Fuck Emerson Junior High. Ooh, Riyadh in Morocco. $3 million, property features, five suites, seven bedroom, 12 bathroom, two living room. Look at the views. Look at the tile work. They're ideally located in the heart of the old Dar al Bacha area in the Medina and close to the popular souks. This old mansion was once owned by a rich spice merchant. I love that. What year was this listing? Italian retreat, $1 million. Look at this. Dude, we are getting ripped off in Davis. Beautiful rustic estate in the greenery of the countryside of the magnificent village of San Pantelio. The property is located in a rural area immersed in peace and tranquility. I already feel it. Okay, let's go to the last one. NYC penthouse, $25.95 million. Who put this up, Jared Kushner? Where are we at? <laughs> New York, New York, five bedroom, six bathroom, $25 million. Now, if it's gonna be $25 million, we have to critique it. I'm gonna be honest with you, the front of the building doesn't look that amazing. This dining area, not that big. $25 million? Yeah. I want Alfred to live with me. $25 million, Alfred should be like Master Bruce. Go home. Like, I need I need full on Alfred. Man. Let's go off the bat. Already House and Davis, we're done. I mean, come on. I, like, this is my home, this is my heart. I filmed my first comedy special in Davis and you're gonna list houses at $3 million? You're gone. Um, Italian Retreat, $1 million, good price. I feel like you're getting a lot. It's really beautiful, it's in Italy. Um, this spot in Morocco, pretty incredible. I think we go with Riyadh in Morocco. Add it to cart. GQ, thank you so much for taking me shopping and thank you so much for stealing someone else's credit card.